Alright guys, this is Querbet 2004 and uh, someone else is playing World of Tanks again. <clears throat> this was a submission via my via Facebook and um, I decided to record, record and commentate over <laughs> it for numerous reasons. Uh, the uh, first and foremost reason is because I was well, yeah, I was impressed to be honest because that's a paper tank in a in a match of mainly tier tier ten tanks, and uh, most of the tanks could have beaten her up in like I don't know uh, two shots maybe as as easy as that. So um, that was one thing. Another thing is I don't have the patience for the AMX 1390s. Uh, I don't know. I I tried a couple of weeks ago to get a gameplay going in, in that one, and I don't seem to um, be able to. How can I say that? Adopt to the game style that I need would need to pull off to uh, get a good gameplay. Uh, the second reason is uh, I thought you know this is the uh, uh, first submission. Uh, the third reason actually um, is I thought it is a uh, YouTube, uh, a Facebook submission, and I that was my first submission on Facebook. Turns out uh, it is a good gameplay. Yeah, and um, yeah, that that's basically the reason. Um, she is. Playing very, very, very um, cautiously and um, tries tries to get the job done in terms of uh, spotting and not getting hit, and I think she does that very well. Um, at times, it's a little bit well. I mean, I can't understand, but it's a little bit campy, and I'm saying. Uh, the reason why I say I can't understand this is because I mean the the opponent tanks that she is uh, facing, uh, you know that's not that that's not your the the kind of enemy you would like to face in a light tank like that. But anyways, a uh, quick a uh, quick run through of the tank, which is based on my uh, my experience, and I have to say my experience is not very well. Uh, you know, as educated guesses I have to do here. Um, but I found the gameplay impressive, so I thought I'd bring it to you. So, a few things on the tank we all know, the majority of uh, WOT players know. Uh, this tank has literally uh, no armor protection, it has a hit point. Uh, buffer of what is that 1100 um, I can't see that in my preview here uh, while I'm doing the commentary uh, but I think it's 1100 which is meh and as we all know the armor protection uh, offered by French tanks is not really decent not even half decent so uh, as we say in Germany you're rolling on, on, on raw exports Really, I mean, this uh, meaning that it, you know, it can break any second, and that's uh, that really is what, how it feels after a few rounds in that AMX 30. Well, be it the 70, uh, 75 or the AMX 1390, is they're very vulnerable. However. And I'm not talking about the reload mechanism or the auto loader or six shots in a very short frequency. Frequency. I'm talking about the alpha damage of that uh, of that gun, and that is surprisingly high for for a tank like that with uh, you know with the auto cannon on top. So I think it's roughly 1100 and. Uh, a wee bit that it puts out when unloading the whole, uh, the whole, um, how do you say that? It, all six shells into into one target, so that's roughly 1100 between 1100 and 1200. I can't remember uh, precisely, but um, all along this line. Um, 
yeah that that is impressive that is really impressive what i f what i feel uh, is a little bit on the low side with the gun is the accuracy no not the accuracy the the aim time does take a long so uh, does take a bit so you really need to make sure you uh leave the 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 aiming process uh to its end in order to make sure that you really hit the target where you want it to hit because uh, otherwise this gun uh, hits shit. Uh, that's that's what it is. Um, but I mean, if you hit, it definitely uh, packs a punch and um, yeah, takes out tier ten tanks. Well, it was from behind, but that is what you expect uh, to happen from a light tank. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just had some difficulties with the recording. Oh, never mind. Um. Yeah, that is about the the tank, and um, I think sh she really demonstrated that she got the idea of the tank. So, um, you know, you go for the wounded, or you go for a fast ninja attack. So you come from behind and try to unload uh, um, all of the shell all of the shells that you have left in your magazine and then um, and then uh, run away again so that is like the ninja method of uh, killing things uh, the tank ninja things <laughs> um, yeah but that is really what it excels at and it does that very well you've seen that just happening uh, twice against uh, the IS-7, uh, the IS-4, and then against the tier 10 medium, and then the IS-7 got its fair, fair share as well. So, I mean, there's no complaint in that department. Um, so the the gun is really excellent. Furthermore, I mean, I speeded up the um, the video here for you know for length reasons the video was a little bit more than 11 minutes and I don't know what to talk for that uh, lengthy amount of time and you don't really listen to my bullshit anyways <laughs> and all that well I don't know if that was a joke maybe for some people that was serious um, no I um, know that that could be done better and I know that sometimes in games players need luck that may, might all be the reason but I think generally speaking and te you know um, I would say uh, this uh, game or she she played it out very very uh, strategic and she did the right tactical decisions for uh, in the right moments say for instance to run away from that e100 because there was no reason to stay there for her um, yeah so kudos for that nice nice gameplay hope to see more of you guys if you like the ch uh, if you like this gameplay uh, summed it up for me that would help me out and if you like you could also uh, subscribe to my channel to stay on top of wot content and um, yeah, I just say um, until next time and you will miss now something, but I see you later.